Hey, what's going on? In this Workshop Wednesday, I'm gonna show you how to close the keyword gap. All right, let's go. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet hit subscribe, please do so now. We would love to have you join our community. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna be showing you how to close the keyword gap in today's video. So why is this important? Well, one, it's important to know where you stand against your competitors so you can focus your efforts. This will let you know what keywords your competitors are ranking for that you're not ranking for. Uh, it'll help you identify keywords that are unique to your domain, but also discover gaps in your competitor strategies. And lastly, it can help you identify terms that maybe your competition is weaker in, and there's not a lot of competitive advertisements going on at the top, so you could steal some of that traffic by bidding on some very low cost, high quality ad spaces. So if you're looking to follow along with us, you're going to need SEMrush. Uh, SEMrush has a lot of really great SEO tools, PPC tools, market analysis tools. It's really the tool that we use the most here at our agency. We're in every single day uh, leveraging all of the different aspects of the tool, but really specifically for this one, we'll be talking about their keyword gap tool and it offers a side-by-side -side comparison. You just put in the domains and you click go and it's gonna analyze them based on the criteria. It's gonna show you the top opportunities. It's gonna show you the keyword overlap. It's gonna show you a lot of really helpful information. Uh, it's helpful especially in SEO campaigns because you can see especially where to focus on and really where you lie within your niche. So you're gonna get you know instant competitive analysis, unique keywords, organic, paid, and, and shopping data. Uh, as well as visual charts that overlap and really give you a visual idea of what's happening. If you don't have SEMrush, you want to give it a shout. You just want to try it. If you click below, you can get a 14-day free trial to leverage and, and try out SEMrush. I highly recommend it. If you haven't used it, this will open it up and let you see what the tool can really do. All right, so without further ado, we're going to jump in and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this keyword gap analysis. All right, so now we're inside the keyword gap tool in SEMrush, and as you can see, you can find this from dashboard, domain analytics, keyword gap right here. Uh, that's the breadcrumbs, right, navigation. You can also find it under gap analysis. So what you do in this tool, you select your database, so United States or wherever you're at. You can also select the device, uh, date, all of that is, is something that you can do. So you can actually go back in time, and do some historical analysis if you want to as well. What you do after that is you put in your, your websites. So right here, um, I grew up skateboarding, so I like skateboarding, so I decided to use this uh, as an example. You put in your brand, so let's say I'm working for Zero Skateboards, and I want to start working on some different content, some opportunities that we might have in order to grow our brand's visibility. So then you would put in the comp competitor sites up in here, and you hit compare. Now, I have it selected on organic keywords, but I can also do this on paid. So I can do an analysis of paid traffic. I can also do a shopping analysis. Uh, as you can see, there's no data in those. There, these companies are relying solely on organic. From in here, it's gonna give me some opportunities. Now, these are all pretty big, known, well-known skateboard brands. These are all brands that probably do very similar things. But as you can see, there is a couple of opportunities. So like pro skateboard brands is a term that Zero Skateboards is not ranking for. They do build pro skateboards, so it's definitely a term that's probably worth looking at. Uh, it's got 250 search volume. It could be some very targeted volume. If we look over here at the keyword gap, this is gonna give us a visualization of what's going on. We're gonna see the number of terms these sites are ranking for organically. And then we're also going to be able to see uh, where they overlap, so where they share. So zero and plan B share, where zero and creature, um, where creature is by itself, and then all these different subsets and segments where these keywords start to come together. And I can click into this, and as you can see, as I click in, now it's gotten a little bit deeper. It took away some of those competitors. It's brought this a little bit more narrow, and now it's also opened up a lot more opportunities for me to focus on. So what this tool does is it's very interactive. It allows me to click in and start to get deeper insight. As you could tell from before, I only had one opportunity here, but once I clicked in the tool, it actually re-ran the analysis and allowed me to see some more meaningful data like pro skateboard decks, pro skateboards complete, skateboard online, cheap pro skateboards. Now underneath here, it's running analysis for all of the keyword data uh, for my site and then comparing that against the competitors up here. It's gonna give us things like the terms that we've shared, uh, any term that we're missing, any term that is weak, and a weak term would be a term where our competitors are outranking us 
for anywhere that we're strong so where is our domain stronger and better ranking for and like I said earlier this is going to show us where our, where our strengths are where our weaknesses are and really where we need to focus our effort now just because they're ranking for something you're not ranking for it doesn't always mean you have to target it but what this can really help you do is focus and allow you to go okay I know this is where we're really strong so like in the skateboard world this is important 8.25 skateboard it's the size of a board this is where they're you know they're not ranking super high for it but they're moving uh, they're, they're ahead of the competition at least we're seeing let's say I wanted to narrow this down even more I can do a couple things I can either export this or I can start to you know use some of the filters so this volume how much traffic does a specific keyword get so let's say I only want to look at keywords that have uh, 11 to 100 volume it's gonna bring this down even further let's say I wanted to do keywords with certain positions uh, all domains that are somewhere in the top 50 um, you know okay now we can start to narrow it down again all these filters allow us to really analyze the data and go deeper we can export this into an Excel file we can also add it to SEMrush's keyword manager which allows us to do an, even another layer of keyword research but again if we're looking at the gap really what we're trying to do is know what we're good at but also what are we missing and are these terms that we want to rank for and are these terms that we should focus our content around and if you look at these, a lot of these terms have quite a bit of traffic, but we're not ranking for any of these terms. Or this site isn't fictitiously right that, that I'm working for. They're not in real life, but you know, if I was doing SEO for them, I would probably start to look at things like pro skateboard decks, pro skateboard completes, because these are things that people are looking to purchase online. And as a company selling a product, these could be very helpful. And right now, I don't have any visibility on my brand. And this was all uncovered with just a couple uh, clicks. So take a look at the Keyword Gap tool again if you want access to try this out. In the description, there's a link there for a 14-day free trial of all their tools. I highly recommend you check it out. If you got any questions on, on SEMrush or specifically the Keyword Gap tool, please comment below. I'd love to continue the conversation with you. And until next time, happy marketing.